Hi, this late September, our good friend Ben LeConte will be setting another world record when he swims from Tokyo to San Francisco. That's right, Tokyo to San Francisco. The 5,000 plus swim will take approximately five months and he's doing it to check out the state of our world oceans and climate change. I'm proud to say that Water Defense and Global Resolutions has teamed up to join Ben on his most magnificent journey. Water Defense will be using our, our water indicator technology to test the water that he swims through along the way. And our friends at Global Resolutions will bring you behind the scenes of incredible resolve. Ben is going to do this swim on his own, but it's going to take a team and our support to make sure that he concludes this incredible mission. So please join our campaign, our Indiegogo campaign. Go to our Indiegogo site forward slash the longest swim. Sign up, make contributions. We have some fun stuff to share with you. And uh, let's all do this together. Thanks. So I'd like to say, Ben, on behalf of Water Defense, Mark Ruffalo, Scott Smith, Ramsey Adams, we're so honored and humbled that, with the opportunity to work with you and, and do this groundbreaking work as you swim across the Pacific. Uh, it's my pleasure. I mean, I think that's what it takes. It's not about a person swimming. It's about a team around that and the uh, swimming part is just to get the attention and your work is very important in the making of that whole event. I'm very pleased to be part of a partnership with you. Well, I'm really excited. Yeah, we have a saying at Water Defense that this work is bigger than any one individual, much bigger and, and the power of bringing people together. I don't know if you look at the background. He already swam the Atlantic, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he's been, uh, <laughs> now we're going to be able to tell you what you're exposed to in the water over time. This is the water defense water bug. And we're going to attach this to Ben as he swims in the water for 30 minutes. And we're gonna be able to see what he's exposed to in that 30 minute time period. And then after the 30 minutes up, I'm gonna jump in the water and I'm gonna take an instant grab sample of water. And then we're gonna get the results and compare the two. And we will have baseline readings for the Atlantic Ocean. And then Obviously, when he swims the Pacific, we'll be able to compare the Atlantic and the Pacific. And the whole concept is what we talked about initially. We, you you want to know what you're exposed to for the entire period. You don't want to know what's in the water for one split second. Absolutely. Does that make sense? <laughs> no, no, it doesn't. So you think about the advancement of society in the last 17 years. In water testing, in the filtering of our water, is still what it was 50 years ago. And, and you think about the impact on the healthcare of the human race and globally. And that's what we're gonna be able to illustrate. It's in, in assuming that water is never in equilibrium, life is never in equilibrium. And it's, we're not in a closed loop system and that's and that we're gonna be able to really elevate that. We're now gonna take an instant grab sample and we're gonna know what's in the water for this split second versus what Ben has ex been exposed to in the last 30 minutes. Just cap that on. We oh, got it. Seal it tight. This is really an opportunity uh, to, to really elevate this discussion. And, and I tell people all the time, whether you're pro-oil, anti-oil, pro-fracking, not fracking, we can all agree water is essentially life. Without, We can all agree we're all connected by water, and we can all agree we shouldn't be bathing, swimming, cooking, drinking with water with any benzene in it or any of these chemicals or any endocrine-disrupting metals. So we, if we can all agree, you know, can bring people together by agreeing that we shouldn't have contamination in water and we can do something about it. So this is just, a, again, it's a great opportunity to bring people together.